In this video, I'll show you the top 10 tools in Flexi that make it the number one design and production tool in the sign and print business. Let's go over the top 10 tools that I believe, in my opinion, are the best tools in Flexi. It has so many tools, there's so many to go over, but I'm gonna try to keep this as short as possible and show you just the top 10 that'll really get you going when you're using Flexi sign and print. First of all, on the right-hand side, the cloud tools. The reason I mention this as a tool, because there's so much there. Uh, just something simple, like the artwork approval tool. This is, gives you the ability to send artwork to your customer uh, for their approval and communicate via the internet. It actually goes to your online account that you own. You simply sign into your account. Once you're logged in, you have all your jobs here. These are all jobs that have been sent to customers. And basically what they're seeing here is they're seeing the actual job. The customer will actually see this. They'll be able to click on this tool and then type in their comments, like in this case, change the font to something bolder. So they're, they're communicating with you and it's keeping track of all the revisions here. Once the job is done, you'll actually see uh, the word approved and you'll know which jobs have been approved by what customers and you can get things done. That's just one of the cloud features that are available in Flexi. What, another one that's really helpful, printer profiles. How often we need those. You click on printer profiles and you've got every make and model of printer here along with every profile that you might need. And it's quick access. That's what we tried to build into the Flexi Cloud side. There's so much more over here you really need to investigate, like autographic templates, things like window uh, tint and paint protection and bad wrap uh, vehicle outlines and just regular vehicle outlines. There's so much that you can get from the cloud feature over here. So that's the number one tool. The number two tool when you load up Flexi uh, is just working with the workspace. You know, it may be uh, you're an expert in Illustrator or Corel or some other product. Well, don't, don't fret. All you've got to do is go to the file menu here go to workspace and just choose a new workspace. So if I choose Adobe, it'll actually show me something that looks like Adobe Illustrator. And the menu items got changed, the shortcut keys got changed, the icons got rearranged to look more like that product. That's the whole point, to make it look and act like another product. So you've got workspaces in here for the old castmate, Corel, other versions of Flexi, Inspire, Omega, SignLab, SignWizard. You can even customize your own shortcut keys if you want to. So very, very uh, nice capability, great tool for you to use. The third tool is very easy to remember. Right click. Use the right mouse button everywhere. Whenever you click on the right mouse button, you get a set of menus that are context sensitive. So if I'm on the icons, these are all the other icons. If I'm on the ruler, this is uh, changing the different units. If I'm on the swatch table, I'm gonna have swatch table options. And even when you draw something on the screen, you're gonna have options. So use that right mouse button, a very effective tool in Flexi Sign and Print. Uh, number four, Design Central. That's this guy right here. I tell you, this is a great tool. Look at that artboard in the back there, or that substrate, 36 by 24 inches. Does so much. Design Central really shows you the whole uh, what's going on at the time that you're using Flexi gives you all the options. It's even a built-in calculator. You know, if I need something that's, uh, say, six feet, I can just type six FT in here. I don't even have to put inches in. It'll convert it for me. I can do mathematics. I want to divide by two pretty quick, huh? I want to make this 200% more. Just type it in, just like that. It'll do all the conversions for it. even does fractions, by the way. Look at this, watch, I'm gonna make something 36 plus 316. So it'll even do the conversion for you, the addition, the division, and now I've got, I don't have to keep those messy papers next to my computer anymore. This is, this is the power of Design Central. It will change when you're working with text, all the text features are there, with shapes, all the shapes features are there. Anything, anytime you're, you're clicking on an icon to design in Flexi, Design Central is going to give you all the options you need. Very, very important tool. Another one is the fill stroke editor that you see here. This is very, very important. You know, when you're drawing things in, in Flexi and you fill them, it's usually a solid color like that. But there's all kind of fill patterns down here that you can use. In fact, you can download the, more of them and, and I'm sure there's plenty of them out there that you will find appropriate or you can build your own if you want to. Here's what we're gonna do. 
look, just simply uh, draw some things, and this could be bitmaps, it could be uh, vectors, it could be any combination here. I'm just going to draw a group of stars, and we'll paint those different colors just for a variety here. Watch this, okay? There you go, some different variety there. Let's give this one a different color, let's make it yellow. Pretty simple. Grab those stars like that, right click down here, remember right click, we showed you that was a big tool, right click down here and define that as a pattern. It'll put it right down in your swatch table. Now you take your vector artwork and you click on your new swatch, guess what? You have a brand new text texture inside this thing, a fill pattern if you will. You even have options for that fill pattern. So you can make it bigger or smaller, play around with the advanced tab, you're going to find a very, very special tool here for creating some awesome, awesome uh, looking uh, textures in your graphics here. Very, very, very powerful tool. All right, how about the number seven or number six here? Objects, At, what I drew right there is called an object. If you, if you draw something in Flexi, what's really cool is it always remembers what it is. So this always remembers it's a rectangle, this always remembers it's a star. Now, what do we mean by that? Well, here's the, here's the real magic behind objects. Anytime you create an object and then start adding effects to it, let's just say a shadow, right? We're just gonna go add a little perspective or drop or cast shadow here. Let's just do a cast. And by the way, you see the nice previews that are going on here, right? Very nicely done. Just click apply and you've got that done. Now look, these two things are actually attached to one another, right? And Flexi's ready to change the shadow, but I want to I want to change the number of points on the star without deleting the shadow. You can do that with smart objects. That's really an important tool. It's the number six on the list. Let's right click. Remember that one? Select within. Click on that object. Look, Design Central. Remember that one? Number four. All right, we can go right to the third tab. The third tab always gives you the properties of the object. Change the points. I don't have to worry about that shadow in the back. Anything I do to my original drawing here, it's going to be reflected in all my little uh, effects in the back here. So work with objects. Objects are very important. Everything in Flexi becomes an object, and even when you import things, sometimes those are objects. You don't have to dis, uh, you know, undo or disconnect or, or delete uh, the effects. Just change the object in Flexi, and you'll be good to go. Very, very important. Number seven, I've got some really good one here. Number seven is text styles and graphic styles. You know, when you work with text, you got a lot of stuff you can do out there. So let's type in some text here. Now what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna change the font style on that to something else. And you got all the Windows fonts you can use in here. Any Windows font is available to you. Just change the font style as you see fit, right? So let's change it to that. I'm going to make this uh, maybe spaced out a little bit like that, and maybe I'm going to slant it. All kinds of different text features in here. Very, very powerful text tool. So there I've got that word right there, okay? Now I'm going to type another one down here. And what I want to do is I want to match that font style, that slant, and everything uh, from the word apartments there. Well, it turns out I don't remember what I, what I did for that word apartments. Very easy here right click right on the the actual apartments there right click on it watch what happens you get a special menu and one of the items in that menu a great tool is text styles you can copy you can store you can apply let's copy the text style let's click on this one down here and then right click and go back and paste that style on there how quick is that pretty cool huh it gets even better let me make this a little bigger so you can see this this is really really nice okay I'm gonna click on the word apartments up here and I'm gonna paint it a different color and then I'm gonna add a few effects back there maybe we're gonna outline this just slightly in a different uh, color here uh, could be uh, oh I don't know we'll just use black I suppose something like that that's fine and make that a little bit smaller. Remember, we can you can make changes on the fly here, so you can make ch changes as much as you want. Then maybe we're actually gonna maybe distort this or something like that, okay? You can add all kinds of effects in Flexi. There's all kinds of tools in here. We're just gonna do something like this just to give it some variety, okay? Now my point here is I added a color to the text, I added an outline, and I actually distorted it, and I want kids only to be the same way. Now I could have all done it at the same time naturally, but here's a really cool feature. Again, select the text up here at the top with all the effects on it, right click, and graphic styles. Any effect, any color, 
any effect that you've got, you can copy, paste it, save it, and apply it. Really, really nice tool. Let's copy that style, go down to Kids, right click, and paste it right on. Exactly the same as Apartments. That is going to save you tons of time. It's a great tool in Flexi. I know it's going to save you a lot of time. Let's close this up. I'm going to open up a very special file here. One of the greatest features in Flexi is its ability to take poor artwork like this one. And for the sake of clarity, I'm just going to turn off the background border there. This is a really low resolution image. This is two and a half inches in size. It's a low resolution image. We might have problems tracing this because we want to cut it out of vinyl. Not in Flexi. You have in the bitmap menu all kinds of vectorizing tools. A really nice one for this kind of artwork when it's low resolution and kind of small, Bezier. Watch what happens. I'm going to click on that. It's going to trace it. My bitmap is on the left. My traced image is on the right. Let me turn off my cloud features here real quick so we can see this nice and clear. Move some items out of the way. Look at that, would you? We went from this raw, bad image to something that's really awesome. That's vectorized, that's fully traced. Look, it doesn't have a whole lot of points or anything. It's a very smooth drawing. Very little editing needs to be done in Flexi when you're tracing or vectorizing. And it comes with the ability to trace black and white artwork, color artwork, many, and even, even set center lines if you're doing a little bit of engraving. So this has got some great features for vectorizing. I would say that is a great tool to have in Flexi. That would be number eight. Number nine, really easy one. This is, this is probably the easiest software to use for contour cutting. Let's just open up a file here. And I've got three graphics. Two of them happen to be vector artwork and one is actually a bitmap. And I want to show you this bitmap one here. Because you know how uh, you try to put vectorize or put a contour cut around a bitmap. And when, what happens is when you add a contour cut, it comes out rectangular like that because there's white bitmap in the way. Well, Flexi is the easiest software to take care of that. Just click your bitmap, go up to your bitmap menu and choose Make Transparent. Choose that background color there, in this case the white background around the little boy there. Apply it. It'll take a second. What it does is it hides that white background. Then when you go to the effects and add a contour cut, guess what? It's going to actually be the shape of the graphic. Is that not cool? And you notice it's the actual shape of that boy right there. Very, very nicely done. This is easy because you could turn on and off holes yourself. You can turn them on and off as you want to. If you try to do this in Illustrator, you're going to have to join things and get rid of parts you don't need. It's a lot simpler to do it right in Flexi. Great tool. That's number nine in my list. And here's a really nice thing too. Let's take these guys down here and let's also add some contour cut to that. Okay, and we'll add another one to this one. See how easy that is? And then let's put all these together like this. And for the sake of illustration, I'm going to turn on my border again because, you know, when you're setting up your contour cuts, you want to use the least amount of vinyl. So if I'm if I'm actually going to cut these three graphics, and I'll make that guy a little bit smaller here, if I'm going to cut these, you know, what I might do is I might want to just make copies like this, you know, from one place to another. And But you see how much space is being used? By the time I get to three copies, I'm I'm pretty much using the whole width of my, my vinyl in this example right here from top to bottom. There's a lot of empty space in here. So you know what I'm going to do? Let's undo those three. Let's take all three of these items over here. Let's go to the Arrange menu and let's use something called True Shape Nesting. What I'm going to do is say, take that graphic that you see down there. Take those contour cuts. I want to make, this time I'm going to make five copies out of them. Five copies. Remember, we could only put, fit three across here a, a little while ago. Put a little bit of space in between. I'm going to break the text apart. I'm going to use holes whenever necessary. I'm going to click on OK or redraw. What it's going to do is it's going to produce it. And look, instead of three copies going the width, I now have five in here. It's rotating all of my objects. It's rotating my contour cuts. It's producing and, and using the least amount of vinyl to get the most out of your job. That is a great tool that's called true shape nesting and I did it with contour cutting it gets be even better I can't even stop at 10 okay it's awesome what we're gonna do here is we're actually gonna go to the arrange menu and I'm gonna choose something called cut order and it's actually gonna show me in under reorder how it's gonna cut the contour cuts that's the that's how the knife blade is going to move let's say the knife blades over here on this side 
it's going to move here and here and here. It's kind of a random order, don't you think? Guess what? We can fix that. What we're going to do is we're going to say optimize a starting point, give me a sort this and give me the maximum amount of speed and apply that. And what it's going to do is it's going to reassign the way this is cut in vinyl so that when we actually send this out to our vinyl cutter, and by the way, in the arrange menu under coder, we can even preview it. Okay, and what I'm going to do is start on this side, and it's actually showing you how it's going to cut that vinyl. Right, so it's showing you this is going to do this one first. Let's see which one it does second. Watch this, this is awesome. Look at that, that's the closest contour. See, so the least amount of vinyl movement, the least amount of skewing, the more accurate your contour cutting is going to be. This is Awesome. I think you're going to really like this feature. You can even preview it before you send it out to your job to cut and print. And by the way, that takes me to the last tool. And when I say tool, what I really mean is Production Manager. Production Manager is actually a tool all by itself. You can use Production Manager all by itself. You can set it up to work with Illustrator directly, or Corel, or PowerPoint, or Word, whatever you want. You can print directly to Production Manager. It's a standalone program if you want to use it that way. I've actually imported a file here right into Production Manager. I'm going to double click on it. I want to show you some options that are really cool in this program. It's going to open up a nice window here. I'm going to take this graphic and I'm just going to expand it a bit. Let's say we're going to make a banner out of this thing. You know you got to add grommet markers, right? Guess what? In Production Manager, you can add grommets right to your image here. It shows that. You can add a fold line. You can bleed the image so you don't get any fold uh, white marks around the edges like that. You see Production Manager is it, it all by itself its own tool. To me, these are the top 10 tools in Flexi. I think if you go through this video a little at a time and slow me down a little bit, stop after each tool, I know you're going to see this on YouTube and other places, and then practice a little bit, you're going to be great at using Flexi. Top 10 tools in Flexi, I know you're going to love them. Guess what? It's just that easy with Flexi.